morning, Mr. Phelps. International weapons dealer Basil Prokosch has set up operations at an abandoned World War II submarine base in Lundquist. Our information shows he is planning to upset peace in the Gulf by selling 12 medium-range missiles to an enemy country. Your mission, Jim, should you decide to accept it, is to sabotage the submarine transporting the missiles. As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim. Arriving at the canal, you should land unnoticed. Clutter will take the long way around to join you near the tunnel entrance. Dowie will take the raft back to the rendezvous point for your getaway. Your main problem will be to get to the subpen on the other side of a very long and well-guarded tunnel. Using your facemaker, you should be able to take on somebody's identity, and it would help if you found someone important. Perhaps you could find a way to get someone to run an errand for you and hitch a ride. Don't forget to take Clutter with you, as you'll need him to complete the mission. Oh yes, the facemaker won't work outside in this extreme cold. I've located a small building with someone in it. It's the white dot on your scanner. Go check it out. Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Fred, and I'm looking for my dog. A dog? Wait a second, something's wrong here. I'm going to get a guard. What are you waiting? <laughs> What is wrong, sir? No, nothing. False alarm, sorry. That is okay, sir. Clutter will freeze. Can you take this letter to the subpen for me? Yes, sir. Right away. Just need to start the engine. Thanks, boys.
Come on, Ethan. You want to miss your ride? What do you mean, ride? The cold must have frozen your brain. The truck. Let's jump on the back of the truck. You are arriving in the submarine pen area. Watch out, as security has been geared up because they are proceeding to load the missiles into the sub. You will have to find one of the magnetic mines they have stocked somewhere and give it to Clutter so that he can place it on the sub. Once in place, you'd better get out quick, as once the sub blows, they will be on the lookout for the saboteurs. Dowie will be waiting with the raft by the waterfront to secure your getaway. Be careful, Ethan. I'd like to see you back in one piece. I'll look for the mines. You go find a safe place on the far side of the base, John. Ethan, your mask. It's falling to shreds. Shoot. Must be the cold. I guess I'll have to do without. Let me come with you. I can give you cover. No, too risky. I'll go alone as planned. See you later. Use your scanner, Ethan. The bomb will be the red dot on your field scanner. Hurry up, Ethan! I'll catch my death in this freezing cold! Way to go, Ethan. Now go give it to Clutter. Remember, he'll be the green dot on the field scanner. You find the mine. Here it is. Will it do? Darn it. It's the preset time model. That won't leave us enough time to get out safely. Well, I guess we'll have to risk it. You go ahead while I try to work something out with Jim. There's a patrol boat you'll have to eliminate to get away safely. Use the other mine to blow it up. Okay, Jim. I'll give it a try. I found the boat, Ethan. Look for the white spot on the field scanner. Mine in place, Ethan. I'm getting out. Can you make it? Oh. I'm on my way.
Good morning, Mr. Phelps. Former KGB Linex officer Alexander Golitsyn, now working black market intelligence under official cover, has abducted one of our top computer experts, IMF agent Candace Parker, and has stolen one half of the CIA NOC list she was carrying, naming all of our non-official cover agents in Eastern Europe. This list is divided into two encoded halves. The half Golitsyn has is useless without the other half, which is stored at CIA headquarters in Langley. Candace is now imprisoned in the Russian embassy in Prague, where they are trying to decode the list, probably believing she has the key to the code. We also know they have a powerful computer there and are probably using it to try to break the code. Special Agent Robert Barnes was deployed in disguise to free Candace and make it look like Golitsyn's fault. This is so as to discredit him with Moscow. However, we've heard nothing from Barnes since, and we suspect he's been caught. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to penetrate during tomorrow night's embassy function, find Candace, copy the list, destroy the computer, and escape with Candace and Barnes if he's still alive. As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Chip. We placed you on the guest list for a society function at the Russian Embassy in Prague, where Candice Parker and Robert Barnes are being kept prisoner. There you will make contact with Agents Davis and Harmon, who have already infiltrated the Embassy and can provide useful information and equipment. Remember to hide smoke generators in the ventilation ducts to prepare for your escape. You will have to assume the identity of the Ambassador's aide as he has access to the restricted areas of the embassy. Dieter Harmon's spicy cocktail should come in handy here. You're in trouble. Schofield, a killer is on your tail. You must get rid of her. Oh, pleased to meet you. May I introduce you to my good friend, Miss Davies? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr... Smith. Дорогой друг, вы звезда американского кино? Я надеюсь, вам приятно быть здесь. Excuse me, wrong number. must have a look-alike at this party, Mr. Smith. Someone showed us your picture. In fact, she said you're an American movie star. Is that true? No, no. Actually... Oh, don't worry. We won't tell. Have a nice evening. The restroom's probably the safest place to knock someone out unnoticed. to find the face maker and... Shh, Ethan. I have it with me. Do you want it now? Wait a sec. Let's make sure no one's looking at us. Okay, Sarah, let's have it now. And 
Andreev Lasov looks just like his son Nikolai, the ambassador said. Don't you think that's because Nikolai insists on wearing his father's uniform? These Slobberskians are so proud of their past. Watch out for Schofield. She's extremely dangerous. You have to put the killer to sleep. My pleasure. Have you seen the ambassador's aid, Dieter? No, he must have gone upstairs momentarily. How can we get him to come down? You might ask the piano player. Maybe he could entice him down with music. Have you seen the ambassador's aide? I think I saw him go upstairs. Do you expect him to return soon? Not unless he hears his hometown's national anthem, the Slobodskaya March. Can you play it? I need to speak with him urgently. I'd love to, but some idiot walked off with the score. movie star from Hollywood. Sorry, you must be mistaken. But the woman in red said she was a journalist. She wants to interview you. Are you working on a movie here? No, she's wrong. Restroom's probably the safest place to knock someone out unnoticed. Good night, sweetheart. I found this. Can you play it? Sure, comrade. Listen to this. Excuse me, sir. One moment, please. A toast to Sloborskaya, city of great men. Yes, to Sloborskaya! Nazrovny, I'm feeling sick. Finish the mission before he wakes up. Getting right on it.
I've got to hide the smoke generator. Good evening, Your Excellency. Since you don't have a badge for direct access to KGB HQ, you'll have to go in through an old warehouse level. From there, find your way to the secured area. There may be guards present, so try not to appear lost. They could get suspicious in spite of your disguise. I suspect there'll be lots of explosives and weird Russian equipment down there. So exercise caution. I don't need the blowpipe anymore. Good evening, Your Excellency. There must be some emergency antidote somewhere. Good evening, Your Excellency. That's a strange crate. This stuff's really bad for your health. Great! A chemical protection suit. Looking good, Ethan. You're better equipped now. Yeah, I feel better too.
Hmm. That's a strange piece of equipment. You found a piece of the Russian K-30P prototype, a satellite communications intercept device. Okay, Jim. What do you want me to do with it? Now that you've found it, you have to destroy the other four pieces as well. Good. Another piece of K-30P. I'd better jump over these toxic pits. Good, another piece of K-30P. I'd better jump over these toxic pits. Hey, he dropped a key. Hey, there's another piece of K-30P. Good, another piece of K-30P. You'll be entering the section where we think our agents are being kept prisoner. Your disguise won't grant you the authority to free them. You'll have to use the face maker again on someone else there. I suggest you find the head of security and impersonate him. Be very careful. This is a security area, and there will be surveillance cameras everywhere. Be sure to shut them off so you don't trigger an alarm while taking candies out of there and towards the computer.
Barnes, what happened to you? Ethan, at last! What took you so long? Oh, they've been giving me a really hard time. Oh. Now listen closely. I won't be able to get out. You'll have to finish the mission for me. Before they got me, I managed to hide the mask of Galiston in the security hallway. <sighs> You'll find it in the... Oh. I knew he wasn't going to finish that sentence. This must be the place to use the magnetic access card. You shouldn't be here, Your Excellency. This area is KGB only. Just checking security. Keep up the good work. Good evening, Your Excellency. How surprising to see you here in this common room. Found a beeper. I'm sorry, it's forbidden to enter the stock room. I'll be back. Ethan, you've got to find a way to distract his attention. This feels like the right place to use the beeper. Okay, the beeper's activated on a three-second timer. Ethan, the guard won't approach the beeper. This feels like the right place to use the beeper. Okay, the beeper's activated on a three-second timer. May I see the security head officer now? Yes, please come in, Your Excellency. Good evening, officer. What brings you here, Comrade Vlasov? Have you managed to get some information from our American guests? The woman denies it, but we're certain she knows the code for the list. The man hasn't spoken a word, but I don't think he'll resist much longer. Good work, officer. You'll be rewarded. I should hide the body somewhere. Okay, the head security officer can't be seen here. This bookcase looks strange.
The place for the video freezer must be in here. All right, you've jammed their connection with Moscow. I'll send the fake transfer order right away. Ethan, now that you're in disguise, you'd better hide your gun. Have you received the transfer order? Yes, we've just received the transfer order for prisoner Candice Parker. Show this paper to the KGB officer guarding her cell. Thank you. I'm here to transfer Candice Parker. Officer, I can't let you take the prisoner out without the transfer order. Oh, all this red tape. Here is your transfer order. A transfer order from Moscow? Strange I wasn't warned. Okay, let's open her cell. Be quick about it, will you? It's me, Ethan. I used a face maker on the head security officer. Oh, Ethan. I'm so glad you're here. Whatever they're doping my food with is making me weaker than daytime television. Did you find Barnes? Barnes didn't make it. Come on, Candace. It's just the two of us now. I'll try and keep up, but you'll have to watch out for me a little. Don't worry, Candace. I'll cover you as best I can. This must be the place to use the magnetic access card. The level you're about to enter is an old-fashioned security hallway. You might have run into one before. The tiles are booby-trapped, and there are probably some guards in the area. Candy should be able to short-circuit the system, enabling you to watch your step. At the end, there'll be a switch to deactivate the whole system and help Candy through safely. Take this gun, Candace. Protect yourself with it. These hallway tiles must be booby-trapped. You're right, Ethan. I'll have to try and deactivate them. I look on the system control board. Did you deactivate the system, Candace? It's still active, but the dangerous tiles will temporarily glow red when you come close to them. That'll do. Let's go.
Their computer complex is set in an old underground sewage plant, as this was the only place cold enough to conceal the supercomputer's heat emissions. It will be heavily guarded and very dangerous. Your priority is to clear the way for Candy so she can download the NOC list and feed a virus into the computer's memory. They're going to get me, Ethan. I'm no match for them in this state. Go on. I'll be right behind you. They're going to get me, Ethan. I'm no match for them in this state. You're going too fast for me, Ethan. I still feel so weak. going to get me, Ethan. I'm no match for them in this state.
They're going to get me, Ethan. I'm no match for them in this state. There's no time to lose, so get out quick. And be sure to look for the Galitzin face mask that Barnes hid as you go back through the security hallway. Be careful on your return through the KGB HQ. You'll have no disguise, and the guards will be on alert. Barnes's mission was to make Galitzin appear a traitor to Moscow. Try to finish this mission for him. Use the Galitzin face mask. Find the door leading directly back into the embassy. Galitzin's mask must be in the locked corridor. Yes. And we must reach the computer console for that. These doors are locked tight. Okay, the doors are opened and the guns deactivated. Right then, let's find this mask. Candace screaming. She's in trouble. I've got to get out of here.
There's no time to lose, so get out quick. And be sure to look for the Galitzine face mask that Barnes hid as you go back through the security hallways. Be careful on your return through the KGB HQ. You'll have no disguise, and the guards will be on alert. Barnes' mission was to make Galitzine appear a traitor to Moscow. Try to finish this mission for him. Use the Galitzine face mask. Find the door leading directly back into the embassy. Where did I put the video freezer? I'm moving as fast as I can. Leave your mask, Ethan. The smoke generators will create the temporary illusion of a fire. As you make your escape, remember the guards will be able to recognize you. They will certainly be on the lookout for Candice. Jack will have fireman uniforms for you both. Find him quick. Don these disguises and get out of there. If you're still inside when the smoke stops, you'll be trapped. You're still weak, Candace. Go hide in the elevator till I can find a way out of here. I'm feeling better, Ethan. I can take care of myself now. You don't look so hot. Let me go with you. No, really. I'm much stronger now. I'll be fine. Ethan, he sneaked up on me. Get him, quick! Ethan, are you crazy? Stop it!
Ethan, there you are. Meet me at the restrooms to get your suits. Jack, how are we getting out? Not a word, Ethan. I have uniforms for you and Candice. Do you want them now? Okay, Jack, let's have it now. Meet me near the exit, Jack. I'll join you there. Let's take this to Candace. She must still be in the elevator. All right, Candace, here it is. Put it on, quick! Candace! Let's get out of here with the real fire department! Things aren't looking too good for you. Getting out and proving your innocence won't be easy. After all, the CIA does have its reputation to uphold, and they're not too fond of you at the moment. Hopefully you can count on Candice, who should owe you one since you freed her from that Russian cell. Oh, don't be surprised if you feel a bit drowsy. Their coffee has a horrible reputation. Rumor has it they recycle their grounds. All right, Hunt. Game over. All the evidence points to you. You survived the embassy mission against all odds. An impossible feat without compatriots on the other side. Your family bank account has blown sky high, and there's no way you can deny having heard of Max. Admit it, Ethan. You are Max's mole in the CIA. Okay, if you want to shake hands with the devil, that's fine with me. I just want to make sure you burn for it. I better try to find a way out of here. That coffee's always been rank, but this stuff's putrid. My equipment's on the table behind that window. Ethan, Candice here. Big trouble, buddy. You better get out of there quick. Okay, I'm moving. I've hidden some explosive gum on the table under the mug. Don't waste it. There's not very much there. These budget cuts are going to be the death of me. Yes, I've got the explosive gum. Let's try this. Mm. 
Let's see. My field scanner, communicator, a fingerprint scanner, and a high-powered dart gun. Yeah, I better take them all. Reading you loud and clear, Ethan. The truth serum will start to work in less than 10 minutes. You have to find your way to the infirmary quickly. Guards, cameras and fingerprint codes stand in your way. You'll also have to force the sergeant to help you escape through the hallway. Unfortunately, he doesn't scare too easily. We'll come back later when the serum's taken effect. Call me if anything happens. Yes, sir. Hey, you! That ought to do him. Yes, I got his fingerprint. Sweet dreams. Blue paint, my favorite color. He'll be asleep soon. That should put him out. That ought to do him. Yes, I got his fingerprint. I can't use it here.
That should put him out. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! He'll be asleep soon. That dart gun doesn't scare me. What'd they give me to drink? My legs feel like rubber! Sweet dreams. The infirmary has an antidote, but there's no way back. The only way out is up. I hope you're fond of heights. Hello, sir. My, you don't seem to be in very good shape. Here, drink this. It should make you feel better right away. Better wait a few more seconds. They're too close to me. I've prepared a small bag with equipment for you. You'll have to temporarily sabotage the heliport lights. A maintenance man will be called, and disguised as him, you'll be able to access the area. To escape, you'll want to use the helicopter, so you'll have to strategically place an electromagnetic scrambler, which will keep the copter grounded for you. You'll have to find ways around the different security systems as you run into them, but as the CIA is on your side, Ethan, try not to kill anybody, okay? I'll be waiting at the other end with more instructions. Outstanding, Ethan. Now I've stowed a bag of equipment up there. Use your scanner to find it. Don't forget to sabotage the heliport lights. Don't know what I'd do without you.
Over there! Freeze! You're under arrest! Over there! Freeze! You're under arrest! Hey! Over there! Got the bag Candace left me. You must be here for the lights. Hurry up, the helicopter has to land. Chopper grounded. Maybe I should place the camera up high.
Terrific. You made it. We're just above the terminal room with the CIA computer. The security system's equipped with lasers. You'll have to avoid these if you want to succeed. I've gotten you a fiber rope that won't trigger the lasers, but don't touch them yourself. Here's a code card to switch the computer on. The slot is next to the entrance, opposite the computer. Once you power it up, turn and insert this blank disk in the computer. Then type NOC download to disk. The other disk will start up a virus that should paralyze the lasers and the rooftop security lasers. The system should be down long enough for you to reach the helicopter and get away. And watch out for the computer operator. I fixed a special coffee for him, but he may have a cast iron stomach. Poor guy. I think I've had some of that coffee. Well, here I go. Stealing the invaluable NOC list from the CIA mainframe computer will be the most demanding job you've ever faced. So far, you've managed not to activate any alarms inside the CIA security zone, but now you're about to violate the strongest security system in the world. To enter this highly protected area, you'll have to descend through the ventilation access in the ceiling, harnessed and hanging from a special fiber cable, while avoiding the security lasers on your way down. If you accidentally touch one of them, you'll certainly know you've been touched. When you reach the bottom, swing back and forth to access the card slot next to the door. Activate the computer and turn around. Then insert the disk in the terminal for the download. I've placed a little something on the disk that will help you get away later. I've also served another special coffee to the operator. He might return, but not for long. Better watch out for the yellow lasers. They must be connected to the alarm system. Yeah, those lasers sting! This seems like the correct height to reach the card reader. Okay, the computer's on. I'm too Seems to be the proper height to reach the computer. Explosive chewing gum. It could come in handy if you need to create a diversion. 
You and your trick candy. Left over from Halloween? Valentine's Day. Come on, hurry and get on the helicopter. Thanks to the virus you introduced into the computer, the security systems are momentarily frozen. You should have enough time to get to the helicopter and get away safely. The guards, however, will be on alert. Try to distract their attention. Don't forget the EMS. It's me, Ethan. Stay in contact. Be careful. The guards are all on alert. Yeah, and I'll bet they've had decent coffee, too. Over there! Ethan, try to divert the guard's attention using the explosive gun. Dynamite idea! I'll try to find something to explode. Over there! Hey, over there! Freeze! You're under arrest! Hey, over there! Hey, over there! Freeze! You're under arrest! We've set up a meeting with Max in London at Waterloo Station, under the clock at midnight. You'll make a deal to exchange the NOC list for the name of the mole. Luther and Krieger, two ex-agents, will be there for backup, just in case Max pulls a double cross. We will, of course, try to snatch the list back from Max after the deal, so don't lose track of her. Everyone at their posts? Candace, do you copy? I'm on the platform, Ethan, waiting to intercept Max. Luther here, Ethan. I've got you in my sight. I'm in position as well, and I believe I see our guest arriving. I brought what you asked for. Do you have my information? You don't expect me to reveal the Mole's name without first checking that disc. Fair enough, here's the disc. Do you have a way to check it here? Thanks, dear boy. 
I actually feel I can trust you. But you shouldn't have trusted me. Men, dispose of my trusted servant. Nice knowing you. Goodbye, Hunt. Just come with us quietly, so no innocent bystanders get hurt. They're in my scope, Ethan. Don't worry. I'll get them. I've lost sight of Max. Help me find her, Ethan. Watch out. They're all over the place. Keep moving, Ethan. We'll try to get rid of them. I saw Max on the train. Quick, get aboard. Ethan, we must find Max, but use caution. Max's men are vicious killers and will shoot you on sight. Be careful not to injure any civilians. 
Knowing Max, she probably has a backup plan in case things don't go her way. Remember, she's not too concerned about hurting innocent bystanders. So when you find Max, it'll probably be best to neutralize her before retrieving the NOC list. We'll meet up once I've found out where she is. The mole could be nearby as well. If he is, grab the rat and make sure he doesn't escape. You made it! Max is somewhere in the next section, probably protected by her bodyguards. You'll want to take this gas capsule and face maker. They could come in handy. Thanks. Can you find out what her backup plan might be? I'll do my best. Good luck, Ethan. Ethan, we must find Max, but use caution. Max's men are vicious killers and will shoot you on sight. Be careful not to injure any civilians. Knowing Max, she probably has a backup plan in case things don't go her way. Remember, she's not too concerned about hurting innocent bystanders. So when you find Max, it'll probably be best to neutralize her before retrieving the NOC list. We'll meet up once I've found out where she is. The mole could be nearby as well. If he is, grab the rat and make sure he doesn't escape.
Oops, sorry. I've located a bomb. It's in the last car, the baggage car. My bet is that Max has the detonator. Good work. Now just pray I get there in time. Excuse me. What? Nothing. Sorry for punching your ticket, but I need to borrow your face. Sorry, my friend. I have a train to catch. Goodbye. Nitrogen. This stuff could freeze a chili pepper in a heat wave. Candace, the safe's secured with two heavy metal hinges, and there's nothing to open it with. Maybe you can find some tools in this baggage car. There. Seems the right way to do it. That's it. The safe's hinges are about to break. There. Seems the right way to do That's it. The safe's hinges are about to break. What did she drop? Candace, I found the NOC list and the bomb detonator. Oh no! Max has set the bomb! Thank you. 
Alps is the mole. He's fleeing over the roof. A helicopter has come to his aid and Max's men are helping him escape. Eliminate them and destroy the helicopter before they get away. Watch out. You're on top of a moving train running at maximum speed. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Good morning. Good morning, Ethan. They're waiting for you. Congratulations, Agent Hunt. You performed above all expectations. We knew the mole was hidden in the high ranks, but who would have suspected Phelps? Of course, we also knew all along that it couldn't have been you, but you will agree being accused helped motivate you to uncover the truth. Huh, Hunt? You mean... You deliberately set me up. Oh, come on, where's your loyalty, Hans? Look, no hard feelings. We're in your debt. We even have a little trip planned as compensation for you and Candace. That is, if you accept. Vacation? Or another mission? 
Can't tell you anything now, but once you arrive, you'll get the complete brief. <sighs> Let's go, Candace. I have a feeling we're in for some more fun and games. five nuclear detonators, and that he's found a buyer in a country rife with terrorist activity. This deal will go down at the sub-base in Lundquist, where he's apparently upgraded security following your last visit. Your mission, Ethan, should you decide to accept it, is to undermine the deal and render all installations on the base useless. As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the Secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Ethan. Prior to your arrival, HQ dropped the equipment by plane. Due to bad weather, they've scattered it around a bit. Luckily, all items are tagged, so you'll be able to track them easily thanks to your field scanner. First on your agenda will be to get our communication going, so I can guide you through the mission. To that end, Clutter will need to install the automatic frequency scrambler near the submarine antenna, while Dowie places a mine, just in case they decide to move out. You'd best avoid contact with the guards, as you're largely outnumbered. Make sabotaging the pump house high priority. The deal will take place in the secured area on the other side of the mountain. There's a tunnel running through it, and from the top of the old communication building, you should be able to jump on top of one of the trucks. Dowie will have to cut the security system wires to avoid detection while you're in there. Wait here till I clear the way. Remember, we need the AFS so we can communicate. And don't forget my mind. Don't worry, I'll be right back. Maybe on top of these crates.
Thanks, Ethan. I'll go and install the scanner and the mine. See you later at the communications building. Okay, let's go. Okay, Ethan. We've got our communication going. them. Meet me behind the pump house when you find some. God has found the detonator. Looks like the detonator's in the guardhouse.
I found a pair of wire cutters for Dowie. Now I've got to meet him behind the pump house. Ethan. See you later. Dowie and Clutter are already at the rendezvous. Hurry up! We've encountered resistance on top of the communication building, Ethan. Request assistance. Now! about time. Move it, guys. Jump on the Ned's truck. Now he snipped the wrong circuit. He blacked out the tunnel. I hope you have the night view glasses. You'll have to place explosives to blow up the tunnel, so the link will be cut between the two sections of the base. There are eight main support beams anchored to the walls. Set the explosives on the anchor bolts. Careful not to bump your head on the ceiling. Ethan, Dowie here. Careful not to jump on the platforms too late or you'll hit the wall.
I'm gonna try and find some explosives. Take this face maker, Ethan. After protecting your backs by destroying the tunnel, Dowie will climb one of the towers with his sniper rifle. He'll be able to give you cover from there. Clutter will cut through the fencing to open a passage over the canal, as well as find some more explosives to blow the power plant. You'll have to find the accountant, assume his identity, and acquire the detonators for the deal. Bring the case to Clutter, who'll sabotage it. Once you've given the merchandise to the buyer, Get out quick, as things are bound to get messy when they find they've been set up. Clutter and Dowie will be waiting on the gunboat for the getaway. Ethan, I've cut the fence so you can cross the river and find the explosives. I've tagged the spot, so just watch your radar. Dowie's at his sniper post. Well, this card may be useful later. the explosives, Ethan. Meet me at the munitions depot.
take these explosives, plus that little charge of plastic. This looks like the right place to set my explosives. This must be a circuit breaker. I no longer have an image of the accountant's office. There seems to be a power outage. Bet he's still in the office. These number crunches always work late. We've roughly 20 minutes to finish the mission before our presence is discovered. if you want to pass for an accountant.
Hello, sir. Could I have your access code, please? My ID number is M1207-1973. Could you open the door, please? The door is open, sir. Have a nice day. is about to arrive, Ethan. Remember, hide those guns of yours. Okay, Ethan. This briefcase is primed to explode once the helicopter ascends 100 feet. Yeah? What does it do for an encore? Here are the detonators, as we agreed. Thank you. I do hope we'll do more business. Gah! I can't bear this mask anymore. Does it, Ethan? The barge is heavily guarded. Mission orders are to render the base useless. Destroy as many elements of the installation as possible during your escape on the boat. I'll be waiting for you at the sub. I'll see you then. All in one piece, I hope. Good luck, Ethan.
We've done it. The impossible mission force succeeds again. Yes, Candace. The world will be a safer place with these guys out of business. Ethan, my hero.